All right, I want this to be a stern warning for those that preach the idea that Jesus Christ reigns a thousand years, or what I call the zombie doctrine. All right, so let's see if I can find a verse that might support that. Uh, Revelation 22 verse 18 for I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add unto these things God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book now I've seen people apply this to the entire Bible I don't go along with that but it, I don't get bent out of shape over it but without question this is referring to the book of Revelation alright just in case you missed it don't add and don't take away and I'm telling you all these Bible versions out there are adding and taking away and they're in trouble now I'm not saying you can lose your salvation you can't that's impossible that would nullify the entire Bible but this is a stern warning if you are a pastor and you have a congregation you're gonna mislead and deceive people and you're gonna teach them things that are not true if you are teaching from these corrupt Bible versions and it's interesting I'm telling you if you this verse here I think is so under appreciated let's go all the way down but even unto this day when Moses is read the veil is upon their heart nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away alright so this tells you right here that that wisdom understanding of the Bible comes from faith alright now alright so let's get into this all right so Revelation 20 remember what I said I repeated in from Revelation 22 don't add don't take away and God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book it's a stern stern warning now let's we're not I mean we could just go over the whole thing but let's focus on one particular verse Revelation 20 verse 4 and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the Word of God and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years that's happening right now all right People are, since baby Jesus and the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, people have been getting beheaded because they are a witness of Jesus. So we, we even read about that in the gospel, where like John was beheaded. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. All that's happening right now. And right now we live and reign with Christ during this time period until the Lord Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and it's the end of the world all right that's the time period that's the time frame of what's happening of what's being shown right here very simple it's not rocket science it really it's not but the bunch of people out there are teaching this zombie doctrine and I want to show you 
All right, so I think there's about 50. Last time I counted, there was exactly 50. I'm not sure if they've added more, but there's 50 different versions of what we're, of this verse right here. Okay. So let's go through. This is the King James 21st century, and I don't. I'm not really looked into it. It should say the exact same thing, but I'm not sure about that. It doesn't matter. Who cares? All right, so I, I want you to look and notice. I'll point out these verses here that are crazy, right there, amplified. And they came to life as if they're they were dead, and then they came back to life. And reigned with Christ a thousand years. That doesn't make any sense. So, people that were getting beheaded, they came back to life. And to me, it just it's it's so mind-boggling, illogical. I can't wrap my head around it. All right, first of all, I gotta. I gotta bring this up to show you. All right, so we read all the stuff that's going on, and then the end of the world. Right here, verse eleven is the return of the Lord Jesus Christ in the clouds of heaven. It is the end of the world, and then this is when everybody stands before God and, and the judgment of God. Are you saved or are you not saved? And those of us that are saved are changed in the twinkling of an eye. You know, first of all, we're lifted up in the air to meet the Lord, or at the same time, I guess, not first, but we are changed in the twinkling of eye. We are lifted up to meet the Lord in the air, and our enemy is gathered at our feet, and fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them all. Right? Okay, so... And this is the judgment. Are you saved or are you not saved? This is nobody gets <clears throat> nobody gets changed in the twinkling of an eye until Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Right? I mean, you can't get around that. Uh <laughs> Cats are going nuts outside. Okay, who cares? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the, with the last trump is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. You cannot get around that. This is when we are changed. Not you know, this. This stuff here. And they came to life. What, do they come rolling out of their graves or something? Oh, goodness sakes. All right, hold on a second. Just one second. Take one second. Are you not there about who gets the food? I guess I don't know. All right. So, anyways, I don't know if you could hear that. That's just cats are nuts. All right. Anyway, so point is this idea that they come back to life. What they come back to life without a head? Is that what's going on? Like a headless zombie? for a thousand years I mean and then I mean like I showed you this is the return of the Lord Jesus Christ this is the last trump All right, we, and we can go I mean this is all over the Bible but let me show you one example here all right, so immediately after those days, the days shall be darkened, whose face the heaven and earth fled away, 
and there shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Everybody's going to mourn the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. This is Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven. Make no mistake about it. And when that happens, that is when we are changed in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. Right? You catch that? The last trump. At the last trump. Right there. <laughs> at the with the great sound of a trumpet. The last trump is when we are changed in the twinkling of an eye. So this idea that people are going to roll out of their graves without a head and reign with Christ for a thousand years after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, that's not true at all. You can't have Jesus coming twice if he's already here. And that's the picture that they want to show you is that Jesus is already here and then he comes in the clouds of heaven the great white throne whose face that earth and heaven fled away it, I'm telling you and not only are they wrong but they're adding to it they added this they came to life and what we read in Revelation 22 if any man shall add unto these things that are written in this book God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book now amplified classic now this is interesting here huh or permitted to be stamped on their foreheads so the classic amplified version is saying that they're going to try to put a stamp on your foreheads or on your hand. Now, <clears throat> if somebody comes along and wants to put a stamp on your forehead, uh, I, I, that's stupid. That's never going to happen. Yeah, it's just it's so mind-boggling stupid. But with <laughs> slain with axes. So they're adding to this. Now why are they adding to this? Well, that's because they have to abide by copyright laws in order to sell their book. That's the only reason. Has nothing to do with the truth. Has nothing to do with accuracy. Has everything to do with money. Alright. BRG CSB CEB Oh, there they changed that word. They changed reigned into ruled. So you hear you know, all these people saying they that Jesus Christ reigns and rules for a thousand years. Well, they're getting it from the corrupt Bible versions because they're not getting it from the Bible. Revelation 20 makes no mention of the word rule. Not a big deal, but uh, there is a connection there. Okay. They came to life the complete uh, Jewish <laughs> Bible. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on, man. People that reject the Lord Jesus Christ telling you what the New Testament says. They came to life and ruled with the Messiah. Uh, again, they, they just added that. They're changing the doctrine. See how, <clears throat> see how they're picking up on one another? They came to life 
you know, they came to life. They ruled, they're changing the doctrine in these corrupt versions. They're adding words and God will add the plagues to those that are teaching those Bible versions, that, that doctrine. And they will come to life and rule with Christ. So this uh, implies that this is going to happen in the future. Again, a futurist viewpoint and very dangerous, you know, very lazy too in my opinion. Because you're saying, well, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what this means. So that just something that's going to happen in the future. That's a big problem, man. If you just, that's a big problem. You don't want to pass off Bible versions simply because you don't understand it, and and just say, hey, why? Well, I don't know. It's going to happen in the future. That's so lazy and stupid. All right, Darby right there and they came dash to dash life right there the dunce or the DLNT disciples literal BS version and the Douay Reims Catholic Bible and it says who had not adored the beast nor his image it, the word should be uh, worship. Adored's not bad. I'm not going to get mad about that. Nor received his character. That word should be image. I'm not going to get mad about that. Compared to these other versions, this is pretty good. But uh, I don't. I, I, it's not completely accurate, but at least they're not so far off as these other versions. Right there, and they came back to life. The ERV, easy to read, easy to get manipulated version, easy to be deceived, naive and gullible version. All right. They came to life. The ESV, what is the ESV? The easy standard. English Standard in the UK they came to life huh yeah, they're just copying other Bible versions preaching the same doctrines the zombie doctrine as I call it and stamp the EXB the X Bible used to be a Bible now it's the all expanded Bible I got you <laughs> and they came back to life and ruled Look at that, got a stamp. They didn't get a stamp on their head, so they came back to life. And be, without a head for a thousand years, walked around with like zombies. Makes no sense. And again, Jesus Christ does not reign a thousand years, he reigns forever. The Geneva Bible is okay. They had not worshipped the beast or its statue. Its statue, right? So that's what they're doing here is they're taking an English word, they're translating it into a foreign language. It could be any, it could be Chinese, doesn't matter. And then they're retranslating it back into English using uh, one of the available variables relating to that word. So he takes you could take beast for example translate it into Japanese and then retranslate it back into English and it'll give you all the vari variables relating to that word so you could change that word beast into dog and you could say they had not worshipped the dog or they had not adored the dog or cat and it's sculpture. I mean, that's how they do it. And that way they can abide by copyright laws and make the money. And people buy it up. It's a, people don't care about the truth. 
They just want, they think they got something better because it says something different. And I, when I showed you at the very beginning, if you want to know the Bible, you want to know all the secrets and have the special wisdom, all you have to do is believe the Bible you hold in your hands is from God. It's about faith. Just have faith in the Word of God. That's the secret. That's the key. It's not changing the words. That's not the key. It's faith. It's always been about faith. They came to life like zombies and they reigned. They ruled without a head for a thousand years. It's unbelievable. They changed the word image to idol. Oh my goodness, Phillips. This is, you had all this stuff, man. There's something going to be screwy going on here. Right there. Look at that. There. I was just talking about that. Those who never worshipped the animal, the puppy dog. All right. Those who never worshipped the puppy dog or its puppy turds. It could be a statue of a puppy turd. Really? Is that what's going to happen? Is that what's happening now? The second death cannot touch such men. They shall be priests of God, shall reign with him a thousand years now. I've showed you this before. Uh, you are a priest. Uh, you are a royal priesthood right now. That's not coming. It's right now. Once you believe, once you are born of God, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation of peculiar people. You are a royalty, my friend. It's not something that's going to happen in the future. It's something that's happening right now. All right. I want to see more of these puppy dog stuff here. Had not worshipped a puppy dog. Had not worshipped a puppy dog. Had not worshipped a puppy dog or puppy poop. And they came to life. From out of the graves with no head and ruled for a thousand years right there, there worship the creature <clears throat> worship the creature and his creature poop and the, you see what's going on here right they're changing it so they can because they have to be different than the other copyrighted books you know that right they can't be the same. They can't be nearly identical. They have to be significantly different so they change the words. All right, and they came back to life as zombies without a head. Oh, what the The, this version right here, guarantee it, hates the Lord Jesus Christ. I, and the only reason you change his name is if you hate the name Jesus. It's the only reason. Alright. Hold on a second. It's the only reason. They hate the Lord Jesus Christ. Alright, and I guess... We'll take a short break here. This is Benjamin Watson. He's a former NFL football player. Take a look. It's the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so, the, to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. Yep, it, just like oh, that. Just like that. They cut him off. That's interesting, isn't it? Just like that. He mentions the name Jesus and they cut him off. Uh, isn't that interesting? You're telling me that people don't hate the Lord Jesus Christ and then you're out there changing his name to Yeshua, Yahuwah, or whatever that is? That's, you're revealing what's in your heart when you change the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because I'm telling you, I told you, and I'll tell you again. There is no other name under heaven given among men 
whereby we must be saved. That name is Jesus. Right, and then you're going out there and saying, oh, it's not Jesus. <laughs> you're revealing your heart, aren't you? You're revealing what's in your heart, the true hatred for God when you change his name. No other name. It's only Jesus. That's it. And if you don't like it, tough titty kitty. You're on fast track to hell. Good luck to you. Jesus is reigning right now. He reigns forever. And I'll show you in case you had any doubts. If you've been living under a rock like me and haven't but haven't opened your Bible. Luke chapter 1 verse 33. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom. There shall be no end. So this idea that Jesus reigns a thousand years is stupid. It's not here in Revelation 20. It's not anywhere in the Bible. And you're revealing yourself as somebody that twists the word of God or somebody that's been deceived. And if you've been deceived, I'm going to encourage you to take another look, a very close look, at what Revelation 20 says. And notice... It's not Jesus reigning a thousand years. It's those of us that are saved reigning with him. And of course, how can you say you are saved if you don't reign with Christ? Or how can you say you don't reign with Christ right now? And how can you say you're saved? These are mutual. If you... Are saved right now you reign with Christ right now he is in you and you are in him and it doesn't make any sense man of course those of us that are born of God reign with Christ right now it's not ruled people get all confused if you use that word rule and or worshiped the beast or his beast poop Right there, good job out of those deceivers. I mean, why not? I mean, you you get extra credit for that, right? You, you abide by the copyright laws, you might as well make it fun to read, hadn't you? And by the way, the NKJV, there's nothing new about the New King James Version. I mean, the King James Bible is not a version, it is the Bible. Alright. They lived again and were leaders along with Christ for a thousand years. So, if you're not a leader now, then how can you say that you're saved? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Come on, Jesus. And they had not worshipped the wild animal or his wild animal poop or excuse me or his false god and this is insanity all right now we understand what the beast is by reading it in the book of daniel uh, we understand that this beast of revelation is the fourth beast of daniel and we know that the beast of Daniel and the beast of Revelation uh, is a king. The four beasts are four kings which shall rise out of the earth. So it's four kingdoms. And the beast in Revelation is the fourth beast, the fourth kingdom, the last kingdom until the end time. Daniel mentions the first three beasts, right? Babylon. The Medes and Persians, the Greek, and then we can conclude by reading Luke chapter 2. It's almost like people don't read Luke. You know what I mean? 
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus, the Roman emperor, that all the world should be taxed. So there the fourth kingdom's in place. The fourth kingdom is the Roman Empire. And of course the beast that was and is not and yet is, is the transformation of the Roman Empire into the Roman Catholic Church. It went from a physical empire to a spiritual empire. And of course, I mean you can go to Revelation 17 and it, it tells you everything you need to know man it's the woman which is the whore which is the false bride the false wife the fake wife however you want to look at it and uh, she sits upon many waters and the waters are nations kindreds tongues they're all over the place right all over the world in every country, in every language, the deceivers are out there. All right, so anyways, let's keep moving along. They came back to life without a head, and they pooped for a thousand years, or whatever. I mean, if we're going to mix it up, we might as well get crazy with it. I mean, come on, you're telling me these guys aren't getting nuts up with this stuff? All right, so received its brand like a Nike symbol on their forehead is not <laughs> I talk about I mean, it's almost it's just weird isn't it oh look at this and also those who had not worshipped the monster or monster poop and they <laughs> wow the monster oh my goodness as if everybody's going to worship a monster in the future and the monster is a zombie or something oh my goodness what is this here the OJ Simpson version or the OJ Sim or OJ Bible excuse me like just nobody that has this Bible version reads it you can't. And I saw Rabulun, and they sat on them authority for Rabulun was given, and I saw beheaded because of their body, but him because of those who did not worship blah 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 nor is Rabulun did not receive that blah 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 and they wakened to blah 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 and rained blah 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 Nobody takes that serious. Man, if you got that, you're not taking the Bible serious at all. That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, so they came back to life as zombies and pooped. What, what is that? And they see him. His judgment was committed. There you go. They, they were committed to an insane asylum. And they eventually had part of their brains cut out and they went around eating people biting them on the neck and infecting them with mysterious disease Just detestable image Okay, the beast and its idol. They came. They became light of life again. They became alive again, and it's weird because they become alive again, again. Here, after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, after the judgment, and they are changed in the twinkling of an eye. So there's three different lives. You got the life that you're living now. Then there's the life, we come back as a zombie, and then there's the everlasting, glorified life, life of, uh, everlasting life with where there is no more sorrow, no more pain, no more suffering, no more death. <laughs> there's, it's just stupid. I mean, I mean, this is why... Hey, put some thought into this, man. Put some thought into this. Right? And 
you can see how ridiculous bow, be bow before the beast they did not bow before the beast and they did live and reign okay with they got it right they got that part right with it's not Jesus reigning a thousand years it's those of us which are saved reigning with him and shall reign with him we reign with Christ right now how can you rightly say that you're saved if you are not reigning with Christ right now